Uh, local time, 1949. 40 hours? 40 hours is... N That's like if you only focus on main story quest. There is hundreds of hours in this game, Brand. If not thousands. Alright, well, I unpaused and 1952 went by, like, pretty quick. Nineteen fifty three. Nineteen fifty four, so I don't know. I'd maybe maybe it's around I would say it's probably about an hour or like GTA ish range, maybe forty eight minutes. Forty eight minutes to an hour. Would be my guess. Yeah, I got thirteen side quests, bro. Yeah. Mine are, mine are all stacking, and all these activities to speak with people lead to other quests. It's, uh... That's, that's the Bethesda way. Yeah. Not trying to get quests. They they just come to you, man. They, ju they just show up. I want to do this uh, media sponge one. Back to where it goes brand. Doo -doo 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 -doo. Wait, where the hell do I need to travel? Hold on. Well, let me see where this quest location is. Oh, that shit on map. What? I'm falling right now? Oh, I jumped. Okay. You're so tired, don't know how I do it? Yeah. Had a lot of training over the years, I guess. Alright, Porima 2, let's go. Let's go, baby. Paradiso. Alright, let's land. Coming into a new location. <laughs> let's rack up some more quests, baby. Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. gonna stream more starfield tomorrow back to the GTA. uh like i said i'll probably i'll probably do like um do kind of shorter gta sessions i'll i'll get what i need done i'll do my daily stuff probably get my five jobs done and then we'll hop into starfield it's probably what we'll be doing um for the coming days so yeah we'll uh we'll be back and forth back and forth a bit with stuff but yeah definitely definitely gonna be playing a good amount of this for sure Wait, this is a... Yeah, we came to... Look at this. We came to, like, the beach island. The beach place. Okay, rest the stream. We'll do. Night trucks. Have a good night, man.
open open sesame open sesame seeds <sighs> yeah, look at this for the Cayo Perico Beach Island this place looks cool look at this I think this is actually a casino maybe this might be a casino location I remember Bob mentioned something about he found a casino. Maybe it's this place. Bro, this place is definitely fancy as fuck. This is like a nice hotel, if not also a casino. It's lovely here. Get another nice day in Paradiso. Hey oh. <sighs> Welcome Hello. to Paradiso gift shop and convenience. Feel free to look around, but don't break anything or you've got to buy it. And before you ask, there aren't any discounts. So don't even try to aggro with me. Let's see what you have for sale. Ugh. You're going to make me do stuff. <laughs> Lord have mercy. All right. Miscellaneous. Maybe notes. Dragon Star Force Volume 1. Costs 100 all right, let's let's buy that. Return the book to Mitch. Okay. Thanks for shopping. Hold on, I want to see what's in here. I want to go up. Choose floor. Rooftop terrace, deluxe penthouse suite, executive floor, fifth floor premium suites, lobby. Deluxe penthouse. Let's let's take a look at that. Inaccessible unlock requires key. So it looks like I could maybe buy a room here. Executive floor? What is that? Excuse me, you can't just waltz in there. Do you have an appointment? Uh no, I don't have an appointment. I'm here on important business. Do you know who I am? I really don't, and I can't have you barging in on the executives while they're working. So if you need something, oh. you can talk to me. This game is already so That's vast, do, man. Afraid. There's so much stuff. I'm afraid so, yes. Sorry, but that's just how it is with the board. Just like the, the sheer amount of people like just going to completely new areas. Book appointments in advance. Having new people like this talking to us. Sorry, I can't just let you go in to speak with the board members. I'd love to help. But they're booked solid, so I can't set up an appointment for you either. But if by some miracle you manage to get one, I'll be here to see you in. All right. <laughs> what I could tell you would get me in a lot of trouble. Most of them are typical C-level execs. I doubt you even need to use your imagination for that. The ones that show up to work day to day, at least. I swear, I've never even met some of them because they chill at their own private secluded beach homes all the time. Anyway, these this is where all the high rollers come. He's got a way of getting what he wants without you realizing it. And that's all I'll say. Oliver. Okay. See you next time. Goodbye. I like how it directed. Every day is nice around here. But I think you caught us at one of the nicest. I have a staff member like cleaning up freaking crap on the ground. All right, all right, all right. Uh, let's head back to the lobby. Actually, I kind of want to look at the rooftop. Yeah, let's look at the rooftop terrace. Gotta look at it. We could definitely go up there, yeah? Ba, 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 ba. Holy sub. This is even better than the sure. Damn, bruh. I can take the paddles or the ping pong ball. Can I jump off? Oh God. Oh God. Holy shit. Okay. That is one way down. 
Damn. I'm here to satisfy your needs. Ba, 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 ba. No major incidents in a while. Let's hope it stays that way, failure. Hey there. Have you ever even played No Man's Sky? I feel like you'd actually, you'd say No Man's Sky sucks too, probably. All right, what do we got going in here? Cockpit. Let's take off. Take off, baby. So now I gotta return the book. Set course. All the way back to Sidonia. Land. Land ho. <coughs> Ship's missile weapon can damage a hull or shields or both. So the missile weapon has a specific use. I see, I see. Alright, I'm gonna go return this comic book back to this epic nerd. I did not mean to pull my weapon out. There we go. Yee. Uh, this game feel this game feels a lot like cyberpunky, kind of. The way the game looks and feels to like move around the spaces in is very comparable to uh to it. Go to Mars. Except I enjoy the UI a bit more of this game. Where is this nerd? How do we get up to this guy? What the flip? Oh, here we go. Boy, nerd. Hey, uh, I hope getting that book won't be too much trouble. Dude, turn around. Did you find the book, Dragon Star Force? Well, fuck up. Heroes of the Dragon Star? Oh my god. Hold on a second. This one was hard to get. I want a little extra. Oh, uh, I don't know. Can we persuade him? Not asking for any more than I deserve. Oh, I huge. Maybe see upping my offer. Okay. Nuts. I'm sure we can work something out, buddy. Yeah. Oh, I hear you. Uh, okay. I guess it's the least I could do for making you go out of your way to find it for me. Yeah, man. I don't need my old non-first edition copy of the book anymore, so you can have it, I guess. Thanks. Oh, cool. There. <laughs> Dude, scammed, kid. I mean, I did have to use a lot of a. Uh, I did have to use a lot of fuel to get out there, man. So even though I don't think I'd technically pay for fuel, what if uh, what if I could steal the book back off of him now? I wonder if you could actually just steal back the, uh, the book. War of the Worlds? Bruh, no way they have a book of that. Bad people, bad jokes. He's got three volumes of it. Dracula, Carry of the Cosmos. The Free Seller, Tale of Space and Time. All 
All right, well, we got that questy quest done for that boy, so that's good. Now I won't have that straggling quest over here. <sighs> I just can't believe I happened to come across that dude, because, like, I'm pretty sure, like, the bartender somewhere else completely told me about this guy needing help with something. Uh, let's see, search for evidence. I've been asked by Lieutenant Jillian Toft, rendezvous with the stare at Europa. Tree grows in Atlantis. Biosensors. I kind of want to go back and do this. Finish that up. There's a completed quest down here. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, baby. Dun, 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 dun. I wonder what missions is. Like, what the heck is missions supposed to be? Like, aren't these all missions, technically? Why is there just, like, a mission tab inside of the missions? I don't get it. Speak with Kibi. Speak with Chief Sugayama. Right, let's set course back for this. The lodge. Bro, the fact I don't have to go back to my ship or anything, I can just like travel from wherever I'm at just to head back is so nice. Very convenient to get around. Thing I want is to charge you for a DP, an A and B, B and E, or heaven forbid. Indeed. Fauna, flora, resources. BOP, right? Bro, what is it? 21%? 90 point? Oh, it tells you what the gravity is? It tells you the, like... Damn. I didn't realize it has all that info down there when you're scanning. Alright, so let's get these sensor things. Where's this other one over here? Alright, let me not get like freaking wanted by everyone in existence again. Oh, oh my god. Oh, There's a laggy spot right there. Parkour straight to the sensor as well. Hey, yo. All right. Grab it. Now I've got one more to take care of, I think. Can I mantle? There we go. Yes. I love the mantle so good. That's like, a, that's, that's a new thing for these games from what I know. What is this? An information kiosk? You know what? Do I even have the... Uh... So it doesn't feel like I even have the quest selected, but I wouldn't be able to see the markers then. Alright, come on. Take that, there we go. Deliver the sensors. All right, let's take him back to the boy now. <clears throat> My helmet gives me a bigger hitbox. Is that a bad thing? Yeah, who cares about the hitbox size? I like cool, bro. That's all that matters. We look good, dog. You know, you know, you know. Yeah, yeah. That's 
I really do need that additional data. Hello. I don't mean to be pushy, but I really do need those sensors and quickly. Bro, chill. I got him. So you do. Wonderful. I'll just take these and we'll see what they you have to tell no us. I got no money to go broke. I ass oh, home. We'll just upload the data. Give it a moment. And just another moment. Just another moment. Oh. It is working, isn't it? Ah, uh, there it is. What a relief. Now, let's see. This is... Well, it, it's... Oh, my. Speak to Kelton Frush. What is it, man? You brought the biosensors to me when you did. All right, what's up, buddy? Well, there's good news and bad news. The good news is that my suspicions were correct. There is something wrong with the tree. Oh, dear. I report my findings to Mast immediately with no small amount of satisfaction. The phrase, I told you so, may even be uttered more than once. Do I want to hear something pogaroni? Uh, sure, dude. What you got? Glad your concerns are validated. Does not sound like good news. Yes, it does feel good to be right. Particularly when others have attempted to convince you otherwise. Repeatedly. They told this guy he was crazy. Right, as it were, is that but he stuck to his the guns. The internal composition of the tree is changing. In this particular case, the tree is now regularly emitting ultra-low frequency sound waves. They're nearly imperceptible now. But they're growing in strength. But the tree has supersonic this is hearing. This we've never observed before. Depending on how large these waves grow, consequences for the city could be... Well, disastrous. I must consult with my colleagues in MAST at once. Thank you for your assistance. I hope these credits are adequate compensation. How much? 2,500? Bro, we're, we're kind of rolling in it. Got a cut of slice yesterday. No more long. Oh, haircut. Nice, Thank you dude. For your help retrieving the bio I remember you said you're about to get a cut right before you had to go back, right? Go back to or get get back into school. Let's hope that Mast takes these findings. Now you got a seriously. fresh cut. For Thursday, right? The data from the bio or not Thursday. I don't know. School usually starts on Thursdays around here, at least. These findings are. So we got to check back with this guy sometime later. All right. Oh, Thursday as well. Okay. There it is. Speak with Rene. All right. So check back with him later on. Fair enough. What else did we have then? First contact. Talk to Sam Co. I got some other activities. Who do we have to speak with Trevor? Speak to Commander Tuwala about joining the Vanguard. Check out your ship's inventory. All right, let's do that. Pretty sure I can just do that where I'm at, though. I just need to travel to the shipyard. I think this was supposed to explain how the ship inventory works, but I just kind of naturally figured it out earlier. I never did this like quest for it. Another day, another day, another dollar. Spaceport. Boop. Sent your little sister a Rick Grimes gift that said, "Good morning." But why? Just because? You guys both like The Walking Dead or something? Uh, da 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 da. 
Does she get annoyed when you send her stuff like that, or...? For the memes. Fair enough. <clears throat> Alright. What's going on here? Wait, what the heck? Wait, the cargo holds right here? <gasps> Bro. Deposit all resources. I don't have resources. All right, was that the quest? What am I supposed to do with it? I can check it out, bro. All right, let me take something out. What do I have to do in it? Oh, there we go. Sounded like Willy Wonka. <laughs> nice. All right, speak to Commander Tuwala, speak with Trevor, start an outpost on a planet, talk to Sergeant Yummy, speak with Lila. Speak with Renee, check in on Kelton later. Sheesh. Shisha. Tree in New Atlantis. Alright, let's go over here, I guess. Let's see what this is all about. Inventory, resources, uh, store all resources, uh, yeah, what the flip, what did I take everything out? Alright, I'm just gonna keep all resources in there. Let's see if I can find somewhere to sell all this random crap. Well, it's not exactly all random, but I want to see if this vendor refreshed the refresh in value. Got anything you need? Uh, it's got 136. I think I should be able to sell this miscellaneous stuff, though, right? Um, sell. So, not digipix pyramid sculpture all right we got rid of all that weird stuff we're gonna keep the lock picks need to get a good stock of these bad boys and then what else can i sell i can sell the dragon star force volume one another random book Sell from ship inventory. Oh, you can sell from ship inventory? Dude. Oh my gosh. That is nutty. Okay, I wish I knew that. Well, now I know that. It's not like it's been forever. Now that I learned that, that is dope. Alright, we're just going to keep all these notes on us. Robles, aid, apparel.
damage resistance. Let's see, I'm going to sell this. Sell that. All right, they have eight credits left. I don't think I have anything that cheap. To offload. Trade authority is always by. That's yeah. fine. Right. Uh, how much? Uh, how much encumbrance do I have? I'm at 142 out of 135. I need to like find one more thing to sell. I also just got a level. What should we buy with our skill point? Um, unlock the ability to combat slide. Sounds beast. Uh, we should maybe focus on something else though. Complete the previous, I gotta kill a hundred enemies for that. Okay, medicine. Med packs, trauma packs, and emergency kits restore 20% additional health. 30% additional health, 30% faster, 50% additional health, 50% faster, and have a chance to cure an affliction. Ooh, okay. I should probably really get my med kits up. Um, let's just do that. I wanna, I wanna get that so that I can start working on the next challenge. I need to use healing items 50 times now. I'll be able to get the next rank. So medicine, I'm currently at. Let's see, so I need to spend two more points and we get 20% additional. Med packs seem a little bit precious. information kiosk buildings and services bank the trade authority the well i need i need to go to the well how do i find that on the map then where is the well exactly I think the well's that underground location, actually. Oh, so I can walk while encumbered, but if you like go too fast, then it's like... Got it. Commercial district? Let's go to commercial. I need to find a place to sell. Gotta sell some of these goods, yeah. Goods, bruv. Some of this armor stuff I was grabbing. Let's see. Gal Bank, Yield Office, UC Distribution. Maybe that's not what I'm looking for. Let's go to residential, see what's there. The, uh, the city signs unironically actually helping me find stuff. Pioneer Tower. Alliant Medical, Apollo Tower. Alright, so medical is here. So where the freak do I go then? Mass District? I think I was just in Mast. Now it's at Spaceport. Maybe Mast is connected to that? I don't know. Not too sure. Still trying to kind of figure out like the layout of cities and understanding what exactly I'm looking at and where. Free Star Embassy. Isn't that well placed down here? Well, here we go. So I should be able to find a trader down here. Hopefully they have a good few thousand. 
good few thousand gold on him so I can sell off his excess weapons. Med Bay. I've got limited resources. I try not to turn anyone away just because they're light on credits. Exit. I don't know if I'm looking for an exit. I need the shop. Who's the merchant down here, man? Door locked. I hope I'm as cool as Solomon Co when I grow up. Sam Co. Electronics. Sounds like a general good store. What's up, bro? No Talk order, to me. Okay. Can't say I'll have what you need. Yep. You what do you got, got for sale? All right. What can I sell to him? I could sell potentially anything. He's got two thousand dollars worth of stuff. All right. Spacesuits. Uh, packs. All right. Sell that off. Oh, well, it's legendary, but it sucks. But I'm hesitant to want to sell a legendary. I'll sell the blue helmets. Sell these. 90, 166, 268. Sell that purple one. There we go. Got 82 gold left. Do I have anything at 82 value? I don't think so. All these spacesuits are freaking hefty. Take care. Don't mind me. Well, it wasn't exactly what I was looking for, but I did find some stuff to sell. You have a nice day now. Surplus. This. You ask me, the real new Atlantic. Happy to make a deal. You take a See, uh, this definitely looks like a weapons place. Oh, he's got like everything. All right, he's got two thousand as well. Let's sell. Keep selling, baby. Uh, packs. Hang on to that helmet. It's off this extra helmet. There we go. Apparel. And spacesuits. Fifteen hundred? Bang. Alright, I got two more spacesuits to sell off. God, that thing is twenty mass, motherfucker. Wonder I'm huge. My god. Hey, take it easy. Wouldn't want to live anywhere else. House of Enlightenment, uh, the Trade Authority, Med Bay, UC Surplus. I found everything except the Trade Authority, dude. Can I like, can I look at the map while I'm down here and like see things? Oh, it doesn't look like it. Security office. House of Enlightenment. Oh, trade authority. What the flip? It's this huge thing. I didn't think this was a store. If there's something you need, 
No matter what it is, either I have it or I can get it. Welcome to the Trade Authority. If you're here on legitimate business, I would be more All right, than we're happy back. We did a quest for this if, chick however, earlier. You are here under false pretense, then I'm afraid you'll find nothing ill. So, what'll it be? Uh Then my disclaimer doesn't apply. And I hope please let me know if I can assist you further. I'd like to see what you have for sale. You won't find a better selection or more real. <laughs> She's got 11k. All right, the general traders is where it's at. Modified weapons. Okay, ammo. Uh, let's go to sell. And sell these spacesuits. Bang, bang. Packs. Uh, I'm going to put that back in my ship. I'm gonna hang on to that. There we go. I think we've sold off all my excess. Of course. Of what, course. Now what is exactly does she have? Spacesuits? It's all just white stuff. She, she doesn't have anything crazy. 20 that's what I sold to her. Jesus Christ. Wait, she sells it back for like 10 times the value. I got like 2,000 from that. And then she's selling it for 20? Bro. Oh my God. But she has digipics. Uh, do I want to buy them that? Nah. Pleasure dealing with you. All right, yeah, this is definitely the place, like, trade trade authority locations are the place to actually, like, sell stuff. Yeah, they're a lot, right? The problem with selling stuff in these games is, like, you, you have to find vendors that actually have enough money to, like, get your values worth out of selling things. It's the same way in Skyrim. I think, like, uh, vendors only, like, reset, like, on a daily basis or something like that. Something along those lines. Anyways, uh, alright. What do we got next? Commander Tuala. Now that we've, uh, now that we've cleared off our, uh, our excess inventory. Ship is nice and clean. I now understand what looting is kind of like, like, Whenever I start a new game, I kind of just start going crazy, grabbing everything. But I kind of know what to, like, pull off of corpses now. It's not exactly in my best interest to grab everything. I mean, spacesuits seem pretty good. You can sell them for... Seems like most spacesuits sell for at least a thousand, if not even more. So, like, that's, that's pretty, pretty good stuff, but they take a lot of weight. I don't know. I, I feel like I'd rather just kind of, like earn gold via quests rather than just collecting a bunch of crap to sell it's kind of kind of an annoying way to do it so what's up what's up bro hey sarah's friend just tell me what i need to do next join in the oh, vanguard right. take the elevator down to the vanguard orientation hall you can get started at any of the registration terminals the system will walk you through the rest and if you've got any questions i'm Happy to answer them. All right, bro. Thanks. Thank you, dude. Only those on official United Colonies business can access the building. Uh, lobby, Commander Tuella's office, Vanguard Orientation Hall. We're gonna get certified into the Vanguard. Super ET, register for the Vanguard. Hello. Enlistment agreement. To register for your examination, please select enlistment agreement. Any outstanding UC bounty must be paid. Ah, we took care of that earlier. I, Jacoby, agree. Consent documented. You may proceed to the examination chamber through the orientation hall. Okay. I wonder what this is going to be. Is it going to be like a combat combat challenge thing? Like puzzle challenge things? Oh, we're just going to get a the end of Earth. Holy, it's a museum. In 2150, humanity learned the Earth's magnetosphere would collapse sometime in the next half century, eliminating all life on the planet. 
Decisive action was required, but the secure transport of well, this is why the Earth is barren. Would demand a new kind of cooperation, a new kind of courage, and a new kind of union. Thus, in 2159, the United Colonies were formed to make that journey possible. United Colonies. Just one year later, the Galileo, the first of many colony ships, sanitation bot. Here on Jemison, beginning a new era of human history, the age of the United Colonies. Down with the U.S., up with the U.C. So we're kind of learning the lore of things here, I guess. This this is cool. I like this. What, bro? Okay, to be fire, press the wrong button. Learning the history of the future. Oh, so these are different outfit styles. Oh, this is sick. It was only in 2230 that the faction known as House Varun. House Varun looks sick. Contact with the rest of the settled systems. Founded by the passengers of a colony ship that had left New Atlantis and disappeared four decades earlier, House Varun was a faction unlike any other. A theocracy dedicated wholly to the beliefs of its isolationist founder, Janan Varun. House Varun initially made overtures of peace towards the rest of the settled systems. They claimed their only intention was to spread the word of their god, the Great Serpent. But none could have guessed that this worship might take the form of a bloody war. Serpent's Crusade. Serpent's Crusade. That was like a civil war of some sorts. Freestar Collective. This is the Cowboys right here. The Freestar Collective was initially founded in 2188, when the citizens of Aquila banded together with the pleasure city of Got a hunter over here on the side. an info kiosk about the Narion War. Got a whole thing to read here about it. To learn more about the Colony War, please proceed to Conflict Among the Stars. Serpent's Crusade. Conflict Among the Stars. Alright. Next. Sued for peace. There remain 
Republicans, however, select members of House Varun who refuse to recognize the cessation of hostilities their leaders established. Even after House Varun's mysterious disappearance, these zealots remain a threat to all who encounter them. Their pacification, a goal of all space. Conflict among the stars. We got big mechs back here. The Battle of Nera. Terror of Londinian. Oh my, dude, there's so much. Much lore. Of the many conflicts between the galaxies it's actually such a cool way to like introduce all this stuff and kind of kind of put it all in like this. Joining the Vanguard is essentially just learning the lore, the history. Both sides deployed every tool at their disposal. Armadas of warships, mechanized combat platforms, or mechs. Even bio-engineered alien creatures. The infamous UC Xeno weapons. It was only in 2311 at the Battle of Cheyenne that the scales finally tipped. The Free Star Collective, utilizing their civilian fleet as a human shield, successfully crippled the superior United Colonies Navy. Oof. After their shocking victory against the galaxy's greatest navy, the Free Star Collective offered terms of peace, which the colonies, out of an interest in staving off any further human costs, accepted. When does the tutorial end? Uh... The galaxy has been rebuilding. The tutorial is kind of over once you make it to like Atlantis or whatever it is, New Atlantis. I'd say that's kind of like the end of like the tutorial phase, sort of. If I had to sort of describe it. Ship fixer guy? Oh, nice. Oh, yeah, so I'd, I'd consider that kind of. You'll get your first official mission, sort of. Following that. You, like, killed all the ships, Brand? Yeah, you made it to New Atlantis. Damn, so this is one of the mechs. This thing is. Thickums. All right, this is crazy too. What is I this? I bring her here almost every day to stare at this thing. Dad wanted me to apply for the administration track at school, but I'm going to be a xenobiologist. It's science division or nothing. Damn, bro. Yeah, the shuttle. Yeah, you're you're in the main city now. The shuttle will kind of like lead you to your uh, in the midst of the colony war, main quest line a stuff. Kind of tragedy struck the UC city of Londinian. A newly constructed but critical supply center for the United Space titties. Still looking for him, a cohol. By one of the galaxy's most They're still out there somewhere. The Terramorph. I haven't gone to the cyberpunk place yet, oh, actually. Right now, we're getting all the lore of, like, wars and stuff that have happened. I'm going through, like, a museum kind of thing right now. Ready for him. Yeah. How's Yusuf doing? Uh, he came in, said the game is boring, said that uh, No Man's Sky is better, and uh, yeah, I don't know. And now he's Starfield game paused. I never thought he'd ever like this game anyways. 
you were questionable as well, Brand, but there may be enough like RPG elements in the game to make you actually enjoy it. After the devastation wrought by the colony war, the UC and the Freestar Collective came together to ratify a treaty that became known as the Armistice. His opinion is of, is invalid. Both sides agreed to a vast <laughs> reduction in standing forces. Uh. Weapons and mech warfare would be outlawed. There's no multiplayer, there's no co-op, there's no All PvP. Research was sealed away. Accessible only in cases of dire emergency. But the collective had another demand. That the active commanders of the UC military stand trial for their actions. The United Colonies, in the interest of peace and galactic security, agreed. In 2311, nah, I think he's just talking about they did that in the past. Were found Whatever. Guilty. I don't think he, his Xbox has been taken since Commander he got that. Henry Durant, General Indira Rastogi, and Fleet Admiral Francois Senon, known better as Vey Victus. Y'all missed this. to death for their actions, bringing the colony war to a close, and returning peace to the galaxy at long last. Nah, so far for me. On the main quest, one of the enemies that I killed dropped a little piece of paper, a secret note that told of a secret base location, and I went there and fought like level 30 motherfuckers to uh, get this sick legendary gear set and a ship. So I went and fought those when I was like level 6 or some shit. Now I'm level 9, but... It was a, uh, it was a bit intense. Can't lie. My mother wanted me to be a doctor. A doctor. <laughs> Mothers, am I right? Mothers, am I right? So we got the Vanguard is born. United Colonies. All right. So this is like getting up to current day here. Like the Vanguard is what we're joining right now by going through this whole initiation. Volunteer fleet. Security, logistical, and reconnaissance roles. And after a sufficient length of service, UC citizenship is guaranteed to every Vanguard member. So, the goal of the goal of joining the Vanguard is to end up with a membership or being like an actual member of like the, the United, United Colonies. colonies. Wherever in the galaxy they it's a citizenship test. Damn, look at this too. Buff guy with the flag. I look better, boy. No one is born a United Colony citizen. Only through service to the UC can one hope to earn one citizenship. But the UC prides itself on taking care of its people. Cost of living controls mean citizens pay less than their foreign counterparts for needs big and small. All citizens are issued a grant upon joining to get themselves on their feet. And only UC citizens have the opportunity to purchase property, getting the chance to live in one of the Movie most theater? Kinda, yeah. in the settled systems. By joining the Vanguard today, it reminds me of um it reminds me of the end of Atomic Heart when you're like going through that like kind of like theater area and you have all those like things that were like showing off all the crazy like mobs and shit you fought throughout the game. There's a Vanguard outfit right there. All right, we made it through the museum. Piloting simulator. Okay. What's next? Proceed to the Vanguard exam. Super et ultra. We're doing flight school, baby. Welcome, applicant, to the piloting simulation chamber. Please enter the designated simulation pod to initiate your exam. Sir, yes, sir. We're playing flight sim in Starfield. Oh boy.
currently in orbit around a high-detail recreation of a remote world. When you're ready to begin, please take a seat in the pilot's chair. Uh, I prefer to call it the cockpit. Your exam is simple. Defeat as many tiers of opponents as you can before your ship is disabled. You must defeat at least three tiers of opponents to pass the exam. Good hunting, applicant. Let's fucking go then. Send them. Some shit to combat. Level 32. Oh god. Oh, I cooked it a little bit too hard. Oh, dude, they're getting wrecked, though. What the? Get clapped on, bitch. Tier 2. Engage. Oh, dude, we're milking these guys. What the fuck? Bro, this, this thing is OP. Holy front flip. Oh, my God. Boost. All right, we cooked him up. Mopped kid. Round tier three. Send him. Send him my way. Put him in the dirt. New targets active. Level thirty eight. Kill them. They're almost dead. Get them. Please. Okay. Boost, 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 boost. All right, now we're chasing you, bitch. This is Top Gun and I'm the Maverick Ho. See ya. Nice. Wait, bro. Oh, bro, I could have, I could have, up to my missiles, my shield, and my other weapons even more. I didn't even realize I had so much energy. Bro, I handicapped myself. <laughs> Get wrecked. Dude, absolutely slopped on. Resuming the examination. Where'd your score by exiting the simulation? All right. Enemy tiers defeated, 3 out of 60. Wish to leave the simulator. Your current passing score will be recorded, but all progress in the simulator will be lost. Exit. So I could have done six waves. Jeez. We'll just pass for now. Sure we can come back and simulate later. Congratulations, applicant. You've passed. You can head up to Commander Tuwala to receive your final results and your probationary assignment. Yeah, 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 yeah. Or you're welcome yeah. to take another run at the simulation if you'd like to try and earn a better score. We'll only keep your best run. Sounds good. Uh, oh my god. All right, lobby. Lobby office. Let's go get certified. Certified citizenship. Well, I don't know if I have citizenship yet, but 
I can join the Vanguard and then maybe through the Vanguard we can eventually earn ourselves a spot. I wonder if you can actually do all the quest lines or like if you like yes. if you commit to like one type one quest line it will like lock you out of another or something. Kind of like storm cloaks versus whatever in a uh, Skyrim. Well, look who's back. Everything go all right with the exam? Or did you have some questions you needed answered first? I wrapped up my piloting exam and they told me to come back here. Ah, so these are your numbers that just came through then. You ready to hear how you did? Uh, the guy told me I passed, so... I'm game. Cute test, by the way. Nothing like real combat, but cute. <laughs> my soldier background lets me say that. I'll let the techs know you think so highly of their work and make a note you've got prior combat experience. So, looking at the data? Yep. Hit every mural in the orientation hall, huh? Yep. A test of preparation and thoroughness. Two traits the Vanguard values highly. Yep. Your physiological results are eerily calm. Not a vital spike to be seen. You really know how to keep your cool. Exactly what the Navy's looking for in our recruits. Now, how'd you do against your foes? I wrecked them. All right, clear tier three. We try to set a high bar, but that's no small feat. Nice work. So then, I'm curious what he would have said if I did all six tiers. I'll be an achievement for it. Mission. You could have your UC citizenship after only just five years. Counting <laughs> for some recruits with experience. Says here I can even offer you a bonus along with your signing advance. Five years. So, sounds to me like we've got Vanguard material on our hands. Wait, it looks like I'm getting locked in with You're like a steady career. Getting a paycheck, getting a salary. Today. Get you the credits you've earned, then send you out on your probationary mission. First, though, all UC service people, provisional or otherwise, are required to swear an oath. So, you want to make this official? Commit yourself to the cause of the colonies. I'm ready. We do this under the table. I like to operate independently. You're not in the Freestar Collective here. Vanguard keeps its work above board. You want in? You have to do it the same as everyone else. And that starts with the oath. All right, whatever. Fantastic. Then just follow me. Let's go say the oath. Follow Commander Tuwala. Like I said, I'm curious. I'm curious if this will lock me out of some other stuff, or if I can join like all the like different kind of like uh, faction groups. I guess would be how I describe them. Ooh, it's nighttime. Nighttime in space. Is he going to raise his right hand and make me raise my right hand? Wouldn't be right doing this where we couldn't see the stars. Now, raise your right hand. The motto of the Vanguard <laughs> is Supra et Ultra, above and beyond. Above and beyond. Serve, beyond the furthest reaches of the United Colonies military and with honor and duty above reproach. Do you swear to protect and defend the citizens of the United Colonies to the best of your abilities and to uphold the values of the Vanguard? Honor. My arms loyalty, getting tired, bro. Self-reliance <sighs> in all your actions as a member of the United Colonies Navy? I do. Are we getting married? Then let me be the first to officially welcome you to the United Colonies Vanguard. Now, only thing left is getting you that probationary mission. And what I've got is comms repair. Salute. Really trying to refurb an old colony war processing plan on Tau Ceti 2. Sounds like they'd barely gotten set up when their communications died. Place is as isolated as they come. So Brass wants a vanguard to deliver the repair suite and ensure anyone present is safe and secure. So, can the people of Tau Ceti 2 count on you? Tau Ceti can consider themselves saved. 
Let's do it. That's the spirit. Head down to the spaceport and talk to Crew Chief Harath. He'll get you the repair suite plus your new recruit kit. Oh, and your advance. Give it your all out there. Supra et Ultra. Supra et Ultra. 7,800 credits, by the way. Holy poggers. Where do I see my credits? My inventory, I guess. Uh, 73,000, bro. Holy. I'm kind of rolling in it. Kind of rolling in it, you know? Status effects, character. Ah, oh, I got all the stats going on here. General. Location discovered. Locations explored. Days passed. Exploration. Systems. Planet scan. Planets fully surveyed. Planets landed on. Flora fully scanned. Fauna fully scanned. Stations docked with. Ships docked with. Unique creatures scanned. Ships. Damn. Quest completed, activities completed, main quest, Crimson Fleet quest, Freestar Collective quest, Ryujin Industries quest, United Colonies quest, side quests, people killed, robots, crafting, crime, locks picked, items stolen, assaults, murders, lifetime bounty, holy shit, dude, thank god my bounty got covered for free. My bounty was 31,000. Was brand trolling? Uh, this isn't really a tutorial, nah. Brand was talking about his own tutorial, I think. I consider the tutorial ending kind of like when you like make it to this place for the first time, but. That probably happened. Oh, let me let me look at completed quests. I think that happened at the end of this. Yeah, this is the tutorial quest. Once you finish, uh, I mean, there's a lot of steps in here, but one small step, it's kind of like the start right there. One small step. Then it goes into the next one. I mean, a lot of the steps are just like, all right, one step travel here, and then you get there, and then it's not like it's not as crazy as you think. Super et ultra. There's a lot though. So here's the main missions. We got our faction-based missions. So yeah, now I've got Crimson Fleet missions. I've got United Colonies type stuff going on miscellaneous these are all kind of side quests and then activities this is basically like speak to people or talk to people to find more quests essentially i think most part Spaceport. Oh, does that mean they're on a different planet? Ooh, ooh boy. Hey, Betty, old pal. I need to get the boost pack upgrade. This thing is a freaking schmied. I got like destiny hops right now. Destiny boosts. Alright, let me. I might actually just be able to like quick travel to wherever the hell this is. Uh, set course. Where is it? We gotta go back to Mars. Speak with Trevor. Set landing target. Can't fast travel while jumping or falling? Oh hell nah. Alright. 
Actually, let me let me look at my other quests and see which ones speak with Kelton Rush. Rush. Uh, show on map. Where is this? Mass District. Sergeant Yumi. Oh wow! So I can see. Kelton Rush is over here. Can I actually talk to him now? You will be scanned as you enter the city. Okay. No. Security office. How can I help you, Captain? Oh, hey. Oh, Captain. I don't know if we've met yet. I'm Sergeant Yumi. Hello, you Yumi. You'll be here about the job, would you? Might not be worth your time, considering your rank. A job? Tell me about it. Part-time security officer. The position's very flexible. Uh, you can basically work whenever you're available. No pressure. We've had some gaps in the schedule lately. Macy's out on maternity leave. Jose's on loan to Sidonia. When it rains, it pours type of situation. Somebody's having a baby? We just need someone to fill the void. Interested? Sure, why not? Well, uh, first things first, I have to ask, do you have any security experience at all? Uh, oh yeah, totally. I was like head of security for the Astral Lounge on Neon for like eight years. <laughs> oh yeah? And I'm the CEO of Galbank. Look, I can appreciate a wise ass, but if I catch you lying for real, we're going to have a problem. Well, I think nah, I've got Nah, he's capping on me. Your first assignment couldn't be easier. Go to Mast and check in with Agent Plato at Aegis. Plato. There was a package Pluto? A the line. dog? They need UC security to handle it. He'll fill you in on the details. Give me the deets. All right. See you later. Agent Play-Doh. I'm gonna uh, make a castle out of Play-Doh. 